My name is Rosanna Sangermano. I've been at Harvest Time for 30 years, since the very beginning, and my parents were actually a founding family of this church. Hi, my name is Jen Hanley, and I've been with Harvest Time for the last seven years. Um, I started coming in August 2006 when my son Joseph was 11 months old, and he just turned eight. Back in 1998, I was teaching second and third grade, and we were in the old Civic Center then, and I only had five students. Fast forward 15 years later, and if you come down to our classrooms, there could be anywhere from 20 to 35 kids in each classroom. Being able to see every week how uh, children and how the staff there are growing spiritually uh, is such a privilege for me. To see the children come in every week and they can't wait to get here. They're excited to be in Sunday school. They're excited to see their teachers. They're excited to learn about God's word. And you know, our motto in Sunday school is to make disciples, is to help these kids to grow to be lifelong believers, lifelong followers. The whole mission of the church is to seek and save the lost. And that's what the pastors do in all the outreach programs. Um, you know, right down from adult to children. You know, Vacation Bible School, we ask all of my son's friends. We've brought friends to Sunday school, to services, to the Harvest Festival, to the Easter egg hunt. I mean, there's so many things that, that do reach the lost. And people come and they see this church and they're like, wow, I've never been to a church like this in my life. When I think about the impact that Harvest Time has made in my own per life personally, and my family, um, I I'm just so thankful. I don't think that I would be the person that I would be today if not for this church, for the discipleship, the anointed preaching, the worship, the opportunity to serve. I'm so passionate about getting people plugged into ministry because when they're plugged into ministry, that's where they grow and they develop. After I was coming to Harvest Time for a few years, one of my very close friends, his name is Drew Shamira, he developed ALS and he was really hungry and searching for the Lord, um, you know, dealing with this battle. So Drew would come to church with um, myself, my son and my mom every Sunday and he would communicate to me how, um, how special it was for him and how much it helped him in his battle, and um, Drew actually went to be with the Lord on April 7, 2009, and I feel very blessed that um, my mom and myself were, were a vehicle for him to, you know, have that, that chance to get to know Jesus in a much closer, intimate way and give his life over to the Lord. With Harvest Time's expansion, um, it's so exciting for my family, for my mom, myself, and even my son, because um, the church is gonna have even more of an opportunity to seek and save the lost, and it's gonna have the, the space and the ability and the capacity. Having been here since the beginning with 30 people in the, in the basement of the YMCA in metal chairs, and then seeing where we are today, and where I see the future of Harvest Time, it, it's so big, and it's so large, even beyond my comprehension. And what I see is us growing as a church. I see us meeting more needs. I see us reaching more children in our community. I mean, I hope one day we can bust kids in, that we have enough space and enough staff that we can do that. So yeah, am I excited about phase two? Yeah, I just can't even express the joy and the uh, enthusiasm and the, the zeal to see what God's gonna do next because he only has greater and bigger things for this church and I feel it, I believe it.